We started in 1998, which was uh, just a few months after we opened our original gym. Of course, we opened a new gym. We were really excited. We wanted to kick it off with a climbing competition. Started with the Yankin Yard. So this comp's been going on for 17 years, and I think what they've really embraced is the community aspect of rock climbing and competition. It's crazy that something can be that consistent and run for that long, and it's cool to see the consistency. One of the coolest things about it is everyone comes together and has just simply a great time. It's just a good community gathering, especially for gyms. It's really important to have these types of events throughout the year to really just glue the community, keep the community like glued together. The reason we do the competition every year is really for our members. It started out as a citizens competition for our members and grew over the years. It's always been rooted in the community and in supporting the climbing community here in New Mexico. Every year we try to make something really fun that the community is going to enjoy. Uh, so we try to make sure we have just a really fun theme that people can get excited about. And it's not a real serious competition unless you get into the cash purse. But you know, for the Citizens Comp, it's all about fun, but it's a big event. There's over 100 boulder problems for them to try. Anytime somebody enters a competition, they're always trying their best and trying to improve and really pushing themselves to their limit. And I think a lot of our members really enjoy that. I don't think you got a lens big enough to get the awesomeness that is front row center climbing competition in Albuquerque, New Mexico.
Alex Johnson. I'm here at the Yankin Yard at the Stone Age event in New Mexico. And technically finals ended, but Puccio and Megan Mascarain is tied. So it went to countbacks. And to break the tie, the gym staff challenged Puccio and Megan to a super final. So it's going to be crazy. They're climbing one of the men's problems. My favorite part about traveling to different competitions and going to different communities is that each one teaches me something different about the climbing community as a whole that I would never really be able to grasp in one place. Um, and that's always inspiring to me. And that keeps me coming to these competitions, um, you know, no matter what. As long as I can make it, I'm happy to be here for that.